Let's suppose that a box with a mass of 10 kilograms is released from the top of a frictionless inclined plane that has an angle of 30 degrees with respect to our ground. Now we want to find A, the acceleration of the box and B, if the inclined plane is 20 meters long, if the hypotenuse of the inclined plane is 20 meters long, how long will it take to reach the bottom? So let's begin with part A. So in order to determine our acceleration of the box along the surface of the inclined plane, we need to build the following right triangle, where our hypotenuse is the gravitational constant G pulling downward perpendicular to the ground, this blue vector is our normal force with which our box, our inclined plane exerts on the box. And this red vector is what we're looking for. It's our gravitational acceleration along our inclined surface. So we choose uh, the x-axis to be parallel to the inclined surface and the y-axis to be perpendicular to our inclined surface and we build the following triangle where this angle is the angle 30 that the inclined plane makes with respect to our ground. So we use the sine trigonometric function to solve for our x. We're looking for x. So sine of the angle theta is equal to opposite x divided by our g, our hypotenuse. So we basically take the g and bring it over to the left side. We get g times sine theta equals x. And x, our acceleration of the block along the surface of the plane, is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by sine 30. So we get 4.9 meters per second squared is our acceleration, the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity of the box going along our x-axis, along our surface of the inclined plane. Now, we know what our acceleration is, and in part B, we're given that the length of this surface of the inclined plane is 20 meters. So because we chose the x-axis to lie parallel to our inclined plane surface, we can use the following kinematics equation to solve for our time. Now, we're making the assumption that our acceleration is constant, of course, and that our surface is frictionless. So, we choose our initial x to be zero at this point where our block begins and the final to be at this point. So, uh, the initial is zero and the final is 20 meters. So, 20 meters equals zero plus. Now, our initial velocity we choose to be zero. So, this term cancels out and we are left with 20 meters equals one half multiplied by 4.9 meters per second squared hour acceleration multiplied by time squared. So we bring all the numbers over to one side and t squared to the other side. We take the radical of both sides and we find that time is equal to the square root of 40 divided by 4.9, which is approximately 2.9 seconds. So it takes our box to travel from the tip of our inclined plane to the bottom, a total distance of 20 meters, it takes my box 2.9 seconds, assuming that its acceleration is 4.9 meters per second, and the acceleration is, of course, constant.